Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Today we're going to take a look at yet another video card. We're going to take a look at an RX 480 8GB from MSI. This is their Armor Edition. Uh, special thanks to Dave over at NCPC Enthusiasts. Uh, that is a Facebook group that I'm a member of. Dave is the one who started the group. Uh, Dave was nice enough to let me review this card before he raffles it away. Uh, so big thanks to him. I will leave a link in the description to that Facebook group. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at the card. We will be going over performance, uh, noise, and overclocking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the performance. yards. Turn left. Alright guys, so that's the performance. Uh, it did very well in 1080p and it also did great in 1440 as well. Uh, one thing that you might notice that we have not done in the past that we did get a chance to do in this review was we are finally taking a look at DirectX 12 performance. Uh, I was able to teach myself how to use PresentMon, which is a benchmarking software. Um, I don't know if I'd call it benchmarking software. It allows you to see and record the frames per second. So it's very similar to a program like Fraps. Unfortunately, Fraps does not capture frames per second for DirectX 12. Uh, the downside to using PresentMon is it has no user interface. It is all command prompt based. So it was a pretty steep learning curve with it, but I'm definitely proud of myself that I was able to figure that out. I'm looking forward to start bringing you more benchmarks uh, using DirectX 12, uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, at this point, let's go ahead and take a listen to fan noise.
So as you can see, we switched it up a little bit in regard to capturing noise. Uh, not only am I giving you an audio file to listen to, uh, I also picked up a decibel meter uh, that you're able to obviously visually see during that testing. I really feel like that's going to help you guys understand what kind of noise it's actually producing. When you upload a video on YouTube and you've had to boost the audio level just so that you can hear it, especially considering you really have to have headphones on to even hear it then, I don't feel like that gives the best representation of what it actually sounds like. Um, that's why I decided to add that decibel meter. So I hope you guys uh, appreciate that. Let me know if it's, if it's something you like or something you don't want to see. Um, while we're talking about fan noise, I do want to tell you the one thing that I didn't like about this card. It's not a major downfall, and it is just personal preference. So a lot of the cards that you see today do have a, uh, what I would call, fan stop feature. Uh, so what that does is, if you're not under a gaming load and producing uh, X amount of heat, then your fans are not going to spin up at all. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. The problem that I have with this particular card is they have set that as a hard limit. So at 60C, your fans cut on. If you're under 60C, they're not going to be on. Now, the difference is with this card, this is a hard limit. On other cards that have this feature, I am able to adjust the fan curve or manually set fan speed, and it will overwrite that 60C limit. On this card, I can still adjust fan speeds manually, but if I'm not at at least 60C, those fans are not going to spin up at all. Again, just comes back to personal preference. It's not a deal breaker. In fact, even with this being the case, even when overclocked, our highest temperature seen was 72C. I'm very happy with that temperature. I have no issues running the card at 72C all day long. Uh, no issue with that whatsoever. Um, that's a good segue into overclocking. So on this card, I wouldn't say that I got a golden sample. I didn't win the lottery, but I also didn't get a dud either. On the core, we were able to reach uh, 1,380 megahertz. I was really shooting for the 1,400 mark, but unfortunately it just was not stable at 1,400. Uh, on the memory, we pushed that over to, I believe, 2,225 on the slider. Uh, so that was almost maxed out completely as far as the software would let me take it. Uh, and still, even with those overclocks, highest temperature was 72C. A lot of times we were even less than 72C. Uh, I feel like fan noise is very reasonable. I'm happy with the overclock. Overall, I like the card. I would say if you're in the market for a card, this is definitely one to look at if you're at 1080p and 1440p. Um, if you have a card right now that can get you by for at least the next two or three months, I would say wait. Let's see what Vega's going to bring. Um, if your, your card's dying or it's just not meeting your requirements and you need something now, this is definitely a card worth looking at. But again, if you can wait, I would encourage you to wait. And that is going to do it for this one. Uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about what's coming up. Uh, so I switched up the room. Um, actually, I didn't change the room at all. I just changed where I put the camera. Um, so in the background, you can see my current rig. That is in an NWIN 303 case. I do have a build video in the works for that. Uh, just haven't had a chance to do any editing or anything beyond that yet. Uh, so that is coming soon. We also have Ryzen right around the corner. Um, so as most of you know, since this is a smaller channel, I don't unfortunately have access to any samples of anything. The plan is to go ahead and purchase one though. We are going to see a Ryzen sample come through the channel. Um, it's just going to come from my own pocket unfortunately, but it, it is what it is. I, regardless, even if I didn't have a channel, this is the biggest thing to come from AMD in a while, and it's worth checking out to me. Uh, so fortunately, we will be taking a look at that. I don't know how soon it'll be. Uh, some people are saying the beginning of March. I can't wait. Can't wait. 
Can't wait to get it in hand. I'm super excited about that. Uh, beyond that, uh, let me know what you guys want to see. If there's anything in particular that you guys want to see, I'll try my best to make it happen. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did like it, please leave me a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And check out that link down in the description for NCPC Enthusiast. Drop by their Facebook page and tell Dave thanks for letting me review this card. And I'll see you guys in the next one.